Hi, welcome back to yet another session on inventory management. In this specific session, I'm going to walk you through on economic order quantity with quantity discounts. By any chance you are new to inventory management topics or for economic order quantity, the link is given above. Just click on that. It will take you to the landing page of inventory management basics. Now let's solve a specific problem. Economic order quantity with quantity discount model is used when you are given with a range and accordingly a price point. In this specific problem, we have gotten a large hospital which has gotten a maintenance department. This maintenance department uses liquid cleanser annually and this is going to be 816 cases over here. For every order that we are going to place, there is going to be ordering cost and carrying cost. In this case, the ordering cost are 12 and the carrying cost of 4 per down. First, let's take the demand is 816 cases. Then we have gotten the ordering cost, which is also known as the setup cost. We are denoting it as S. By any chance, if you are denoting with CO ordering cost or in terms of any other notation, you are free to take it. In this case, it's $12. And for holding cost, I'm using H. Or if you're using carrying cost, you can use CC also, which is going to be $4 per dollar. This is the base information that's given. And alongside, they have given us, based on the new price schedule, this indicates if we go for a higher order quantity, we are going to get a discount. This is when EOQ with quantity discount model comes into the picture. When the order is less than 50 cases, this is going to cost us $20 per case. And between 50 to 79, it is going to cost us 18 per case. Then at the next level, 80 to 99 cases will cost us $17. And then the large order will cost us $16 per case, which means anything above 99, which we are going to order, then this is going to incur $16. Anything above 99 is 100 and above. So greater than 100, and 100 and above thereafter will be $16. They have asked us only two questions to determine the optimal order quantity and the total cost. These are the two questions that we have to solve. First question, optimal order quantity. The formula for calculating the economic order quantity is square root of two times into the demand multiplied by the setup cost divided by the holding cost or the carrying cost. In this specific sum, we are given with the demand of 816 units. The setup cost is $12. Alongside the holding cost is $4. I'm multiplying by 2 into 816 multiplied by 12 gives us a value of 19,584. 19,584 divided by 4 will give us an answer of 4896. Let's calculate the square root of 4896. We have gotten 69.97. So which is 69.97. Approximately, we have gotten 70 cases. So by default, the minimum quantity that we must order is 60 units. This is the economic order quantity that we have identified. Now that we have finished the economic order quantity, at the next level, we need to find out at this specific given point, which point should we be taking it up? Minimum is 70, but the seller motivates us to go for a higher quantity given the fact that we are going to have a lesser price. The EOQ already falls in the limit of between 50 to 79. We do not have any obligation to go ahead and check anything less than 70 units. And not only that, since we have gotten our economic order quantity at the 70 cases at the next level, I'm going to check it at 80 because 80 to 99 at this particular point, it's going to be the same. Given the next fact that you're going to check it at 100 units. So less than 100 units between 80 to 99 will be more or less the same. And then we can check it at the next level of 100 point. This is what I'm going to do with. Now that we have finished calculating the economic order quantity, let's solve the second question. They have asked us to calculate what is the total cost. We would say there is no reference point given in the sum. Total cost needs to be identified at the different level because the economic order quantity with the quantity discount is given. The basic notion is which order quantity will give us the maximum discount, yet at the same time we want to ensure that 
the carrying cost and the ordering cost is also not going up. We need to find that inflection point. To do that, we are going to calculate the total cost for 70, which is the EOQ, for which we will calculate the total cost Q at 70, which is our EOQ. We will calculate the total cost for the economic order quantity at 70. Not only that, the 70 falls within the range of 50 to 79. Calculating the total cost less than this particular price point will be of no use to us. So we are calculating the minimum economic order quantity. Then I'm going to check it at TC80 and then TC at 100. After finishing up, we are going to compare 70, 80 and 100 wherever it is going to give us the least cost that specific point we are going to consider. So at the first level, I'm calculating the total cost at 70 point for which first I'm taking up what is the Q? Q is our economic order quantity, which is 70 unit, 70 divided by two into the holding cost is, we are given with the holding cost is four plus the demand. What is the demand? 816 cases annually by the quantity, quantity is our economic order quantity multiplied by the setup cost 12. This case, the purchase price is going to be different from one level to another level. Make sure it is going to be different and we need to include that particular pricing point here as well. So I'm going to take what is the pricing at this particular level, 50 to 70. The price point is at 18 and the demand is 816 will give us a value of 14,967. 70 at 14,968. Let's calculate TC at the level of 80. So what's your quantity? Now make sure this is not going to be your economic order quantity. Whatever the value that you have taken over here, the same value must go on because already you have calculated the total cost for your economic order quantity at 70. Now. When we want to go for higher quantity, what will be the effect of this on the total price? So we are taking 80 divided by 2 multiplied by the holding cost and the ordering cost remains the same irrespective of the quantity. So 4 plus 816 divided by 80, not 70. Again, here also the Q changes over here. That quantity is 80 at this particular point multiplied by the setup cost plus what is the price point they say? Here the price point has changed from $18 to $17. Higher the quantity, lesser is the price. So $17 into the demand is $816. This is going to give us an answer of $14,154. So TC at the level of 80 is $14,154. Now let's calculate for the next level TC at 100, which is going to be 100 unit is the quantity divided by 2 multiplied by the holding cost is 4 plus the demand is 816 divided by now the quantity has changed to 100 into the setup cost which is 12 plus the price point is P into D. P into D. The price point, what is the price point here? 100 unit and above will attract only 16 rupee into 860, which is going to give us a value of 13,353.92. 14,968. TC at 80 stands at 14,154. And TC at 100 stands at 13,354. Now, Look at these three quantity and just find out where is the minimum cost. We will understand it better with the plot. I'm taking the x-axis as the quantity and y-axis as the cost. TC at 50, TC at 70, TC at 80, TC at 100. Irrespective of whichever the point that we are going to take in, we have already seen we have already identified the economic order quantity stands at 70. So for all the points, we have gotten the economic order quantity stands at 70 point over here. But when we talk about the cost, for the cost, should we go ahead and order minimum of 50, 70, 80 or 100 is the question. The minimum order quantity, we could see that 14,978. 
So TC at 70 is going to be at the specific point for us. Let this point be there. And TC 80, the cost is slightly coming down from the specific level. Let's imagine to the specific level. So the cost has come down for TC 80. TC 100, it has further come down to, the cost has come down to 13,000 odd something. Now let's say this is going to be 10,000, 11, 12, and 13,000. So the cost 13,000, and this is 14, this upper band 14, and then 15. Now you could see that both the level, the cost is going to be at this particular price point over here. Now, where you would see the minimum cost, the minimum cost is at this specific point. Even in terms of the number also we have seen, the minimum cost is at TC 100. Not only that, even in terms of graphical representation also, we could clearly see that the minimum cost stands at TC 100. Our economic order quantity is 70 unit, but whereas our optimal order, if we want to consider the quantity discount and accordingly if we want to place it, then the optimal order stands at the total cost is mean less at 100 units. So we should go ahead and ordering the 100 unit, which will get us a value of 13,354. But whereas EOQ at 70 point will give us 14,968. So we will opt for the optimal order quantity against the economic order quantity. Yes, I can hear that it is so simple. I'm sure all of you are able to follow me. If you have enjoyed this video, please do share it with the people who are in need of this. Let them also learn. Should you have any comments, questions or suggestion, please do post it in the comment box. I'm happy to answer it. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Karpakam signing off. See you all in another video. Good day.